À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage du Vulcain. Allumage des EAP, décollage. La propulsion est nominale. Right on time, as the DDO says all is normal on board, Ariane 5 began her mission, leaving the ground here in French Guiana with a roar of the engines, a lot of fire, and with two new satellites. Everything okay on board, the DDO says. The two boosters are providing 90% of our thrust right now, propelling the launcher along her trajectory as she reaches into the open sky above the clouds at an ever higher velocity. 774 tons at liftoff, remember, and to get that sort of mass off the ground, you need a lot of push, and push we have. She's burning five tons of fuel every second, two and a half tons in each booster, plus the core stage burning another 300 kilos per second. Les paramètres bord sont normaux. Ariane 5 now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see. At a minute and a half into the flight, we're in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn so you can follow. Right now, the first flight phase, the single first stage engine and the two boosters are burning, you can see on the animation. The boosters will each consume their 240 tons in just over two minutes, and they're the first to be extinguished. You'll hear that from the DDO as well. This first flight phase using both cryogenic fuel and storable propellant in a mix, cryogenic propulsion offering certain advantages like better and more precise performance, you can turn it off and on. Its motors also function longer. Now there's a nice shot. We may see separation. There is a separation of the boosters, looks like the flame out. DDO has confirmed it. You see the central white point of light. That's the core engine continuing to burn. And the two orange lights on either side, those are the boosters flaming out. This is what it looks like up there. As they drop, there's another booster on the port side, which is out of camera range. They fall 500 kilometers from shore into a protected area. French Guiana was in part chosen as a base for its opening on the water. Launches posing no threat to the local population. We'll have more on that a bit later on as the DDO continues to say all is well on board. For now, on the bottom of your screen, our altitude on the left and our speed on the right. The speed we need for satellite separation is, anybody know? Sure you do. Nine kilometers per second, or if you prefer, 9,000 kilometers an hour. La trajectoire est nominale. Fairing separation coming right on time, revealing our two satellites to the elements. There's another half of the fairing on the starboard side, which is, of course, out of camera range. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere, over 100 kilometers up. So there's neither friction nor heating, which could disturb the passengers. We can also get rid of any dead weight which to, to maximize the launcher's performance. And the fairing weighs almost two and a half tons.